see what we got going on here. It says I am streaming. So, I am not sure exactly what's going on here, but um, we're back with the Giants of um, 1936 with no um, race barrier, no color barrier, and um, unfortunately I've only figured out how to buy one player. Uh, we can use some pitching, and I'd love to buy a pitcher uh, from the old Negro Leagues, but um, unfortunately I haven't been able to do that yet. So anyway, it is now, we're out of spring training, and we're into about our fourth game of the season. And, boy, is this not, let me see if I'm, I don't know if I'm broadcasting or not here. There we go. Okay, we're live. Okay, so today's game is against the Boston Bees, and I think they became the Milwaukee Braves, and then became the Atlanta Braves. I think that's what happened to them, if I remember correctly. So... This is, um, let's see what our lineup looks like. Uh, getting back to the Giants, New York Giants team home screen. And you can see our, what's our team chemistry look like? Hmm, pretty neutral. No complaints. So, understandably, I don't know why Carl Hubble doesn't like me, um, or Freddie Fritz Moritz. I can understand Bill Terry and Travis Jackson, uh, because they are, are uh, not uh, getting as much play time as they'd like. So, what can I say? Um... I don't know what Carl Hubble's issue is. Uh, he's getting his regular starts. Um, I don't know why, how to motivate, why Josh Gibson is unmotivated. And they don't really give you uh, any... His morale at saying is good. So he's happy. That start. He likes the fact he's starting. And, um, let's see. He's gotten three hits. Hasn't at home run yet like he did in preseason, but that's just a matter of time. Uh, we all know he can hit. He was a big home run hitter. Um, but, uh, I think playing every day is good for him. So, let's go to the team home screen, and let's get to it. Now, what I'd like to do, by the way, after this stream, is go to, um, I picked up another game from Out of Park Developments called, uh, Ho Franchise Hockey Manager 3. So, with the... Stanley Cup playoffs going on, I thought that would be a good thing to look at. So I'm going to go through that a little bit, but I'm going to have like a reset time, a little bit time to switch. So anyway, let's get this game going here. Um, play game. You can have it here, you know what I Okay, so let's finish today. And let's try it again. I don't know what my problem is. Let's play one. That's looking good. Alright. 
So we're about to play the Boston Bees. Um, and it, we are ready to go. You can see our lineup. We got Burgess Whitehead. Dick Bartello shuts up is not hitting. Josh Gibson is. Jojo Moore is sort of. Joe Martin's hitting. Um, Hank Lieber, we're just not getting the bats going here. So maybe they can start hitting today. Mel Ott is not hitting that well, but we'll keep him in. All right, so we're on the road here. And we are in Boston. Braves. Well, maybe the Bees were another. No, became another team. And first long fly out for Burgess Whitehead. And Dick Bartell. Another. I mean, they're hitting it. They're just hitting it to outfielders. So, um, let's see what else we got uh, coming up is Melot, and he grounds out. He's really been having problems with our pitching, and that's, so let's see if A.J. Smith could, the left-hander could, right to the third baseman, right to Joe Martin. And we got Tony Kalisian. I can't even pronounce his name. And he pops out to the catcher, to Josh Gibson. And base hit with two out by Gene Moore. And Wally Berger. And he gets a triple. Nope, he doesn't. He's long fly out. Not quite sure. Oh, maybe he threw him out at third. Not quite sure what happened there. All right. Hank Lieber is up. And he hits it so hard that the third baseman can't handle it. And Jojo Moore is up. Let's see. And gets a little base hit, which is good. And Josh Gibson, now we need his first home run of the season. Ah, right to the wall. And Leslie, our first baseman. And... So... Pinky Whitney is up. One down. Look, Jordan gets a hit. So let's go into double play depth. Uh, cause we only have one out. We want to get that double play. And. Two out and Jack B. Warner. And we get him out. That's Jack. Jack R. Warner, the shortstop. Okay. Oh, wait. You're not seeing this. I didn't switch over. Uh, let's see. There we go. Sorry about that. Here we go. You're looking at the lineups. The first two innings. Okay, Joe Martin's up, and that's our third baseman. Uh, here we go. And he looks like he flew out. And... Oh, jeez. I hope we don't have problems with electricity here. I think I just had a, a little blip in the electricity. Yeah. All right. Burgess Whitehead is up.
it was enough of a blip that the TV and one of my monitors went out. So, Dick Bottell is up with two down and Burgess Whitehead. Uh, let's do a hit and run here. And he gets the pitcher. Now we're back at the top of the order with Jesse Hill. And two down. Um, Cuccini, Cuccinello, Tony Cuccinello the second baseman. All right. Gene Moore. And he gets a hit. Come on. Got two down here. And that looks like that's going to be it. So, And Melod is up. He pops out. And Kleber. And right again, right at the wall. Jojo Moore. All right. So we're in the bottom of the fourth here. And uh, Pinky Whitney is up. Up, uh, he fumbles it, and let's go into double, double play depth. Let's see if we can get the double play. He gets over to second, and two down, and. That looks like a fly out. And it is. The so top of the fifth, Josh Gibson. Let's see if he can. Uh, Sam Leslie. And then the fly out. So it's two away. Got a bit of a pitching duel. He gets us, ties it up with a home run. And A.J. Smith flies out. All right, so it's 1-1, one, one, bottom of the fifth. No room for mistakes for A.J. Smith. And as you know, as if you've been following this series, you know our bullpen is not that good. Tony. Cuccinello is up with two down, and there we go. Get some one, two, three at the bottom of the fifth. Top of the sixth, Burgess Whitehead, and base hit. So we're going to hit and run with And that gets him to second. And Melot. Now we need Melot to. He walks. They don't want to pitch to him. Hank Lieber is up. One out. Okay. So. What are we going to do here? Well, let's. Should have hit and run. Okay, Gene, Gene Moore Jr. Right fielder and pops it up. 
and Wally Berger, the left fielder, and another pop up, and Pinky Whitney. He gets, no, oh, he flies out to the third baseman. So another one, two, three inning. We're going very quickly here today. Um, as we go into the bottom of the six, or the top, sorry, top of the seventh, Joe Joe Moore. And gets a base hit. Josh Gibson is up, uh, Jojo Moore, none. Let's see what Josh Gibson could do. Uh, nope. Flies out. He's hitting it hard, he just hasn't gotten it quite hard enough. No, and a, oh, we got another viewer here, Let's see who we got here, it's not telling me, well, hello viewer, I'm not seeing you, let's see if I can see your name, there we go, let's see if it comes up, and Al Lopez, but hello viewer, um, unfortunately, it's not showing me my viewer list right now. So, hello. Glad to have you. We are in the bottom of the seventh in a tie game. And... I did do that. Okay. Right-handed pitcher. Well, no. Pinch hitter. They're sending up a pinch hitter. And he gets a base hit. So now our pitcher's in a little trouble. I'm going to start the bullpen. Um, who do we have? Let's, let me show you that. All right. So we have to go to our bullpen, I think. And see if anyone has. He's getting tired. So I'm going to put Dick Kaufman in the bullpen. Get him ready. And go back. And go back. And we got, so let's go. We got none out. Double play depth. And let's see if we can get a double play here. Ah! Okay, base is loaded. This is not looking good for us. Trying to get him out. Okay, we get the one out. And we're still going for that double play. And two out, but they scored two runs. And that ends it, but we're behind now, three to one. Um, okay, we're gonna send in a pinch hitter now. Uh, let's go show you substitutions. Um, position all batters. So who can we send up? Uh, we got a left-handed pitcher. So we want a right-handed batter. Let's see what we got in our, uh, who is not playing who can hit. I'm going to send him up. J Gus Mancuso. Oh, uh, come on. Uh, 
n. Gus Mancuso is up. And pinch hitting for our, our pitcher. And gets a uh, gets a base hit, which is what I needed him to do. Burgess Whitehead. Ah, you know how many times this game they've hit it right to the wall. So. We're going to bring in our relief pitcher, Dick Kaufman, and put him in as pitcher, and back to the game with Wally Berger. One down, Pinky Whitney. And <laughs> he gets a double. All right. Now let's go to double play depth, which is what I should have done. Let's see if we can get out of this. And we do. But we're still behind three runs. This is our last shot. So let's see if our bats can start. They've had a hard time. Well, this is not looking good. Jojo Moore. And it looks like that's the end of the game. So, we were roughly even. And let's go back to the screen. And, let's see. We were roughly even. And, um... Then, of course, we fell off in the last two innings. This was, this was a tough game. I would have liked to have done a little better, but... So... Real time. First home run hit by Joan Martin. It was a lone run. And notice our batting leaders are Joe Martin, Jojo Moore, and Burgess Whitehead. Um, Carl Hubble's pitching well, Hal Schumacher, A.J. Smith didn't do bad in this outing. Freddie Fritz Morris um, has won one as has Carl Hubble, and Carl Hubble struck out four. So, he has been pitching, we have been uh, having some good pitching. And there's a second game, I think. Let's see. You know what? One, why not? We'll finish up with the second game of the doubleheader. And finish up the day. And then uh, take a little break here. And get ready. I want to show the other, the other game. So... Well, today we have Flip Castleman pitching against right-hander Ray Moss. Um, Gus Mancuso is catching, so we're going to give uh, we're going to give uh, give a little break here to um, our catcher, and let's start. And hopefully, Melloc can do Hank Lieber. You know what I may do? I think he need him and Sam Leslie need a break. So you know what? We're gonna do some substitution. 
let's do a little swap here. Um, leaving Josh Gibson a break. Uh, we have Sam Leslie. Oh, we're going against a righty, so I'm going to put Bill Terry in at first base. And Sam Leslie hasn't been hitting. And in center field, do I have someone to replace him for the second game of this doubleheader? Uh, let's see, who else do we have? We've got Jojo Moore, all our other, you know what, we'll put Willie Duke in at center field for Hank Lieber. And Willie Duke, uh, Hank Lieber, Willie Duke power, uh, not much less power. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap Jojo Moore for Willie Duke. Actually, and then Bill Terry for Willie Duke. And do it that way. So, now let's start the game. And Burgess Whitehead leads off. Let's show you what show you the game. Okay. And he strikes out Dick Bartell. Sharp grounder, but he's out. Right to the third baseman. And Mellon gets a single. So now we got Jojo Moore in there. And he hits a liner. And fly out for Jesse Hill. Buck Jordan. He walks with one out, so we're going to go into double play depth here. And that was very close. <laughs> Gene Moore Jr. And keeping all, all left fielder busy there. Keeping Jojo Moore busy. So Bill Terry is up. Let's see if he can... He gets on. Willie Duke, our center fielder. His first start. And... He gets a single. We got Gus Mancuso, the catcher, up. See if he can do anything. Okay, Joe Martin, who's been hitting well. They walk him. And our pitcher is up. Not. They almost get the double play. Not quite. We got to, now it's all up to Burgess Whitehead. And he fouls out. Real close that time. Fly out for Tony Cuccinello. Pinky Cuccinello. No, Tony. Uh, Pinky Whitney. And... I don't know what happened there. Infield hit. And two down. I think. Yes, no. Two down. And they're going to score on that. And so they take the lead. 
one nothing. I hope we don't end up dropping a double header here. So Dip Bartel walks. Mel Ott gets another hit. He's maybe we need to keep him I'm keeping him I may keep him in the lineup if he's got that hot bat. Jojo Moore. So, Bill Terry is, uh, oh, Mel Ott, oh wait, Bill Terry's was, uh, Mel Ott's been playing pretty okay. Bill Terry's our substitute. Let's see what he does. So, we got one out, man on second. Let's see if he could come through. No. That's all up to Willie Duke. And... No, we don't. He'll probably get thrown out if it's shallow. Gus Mancuso. And what happened? Something's happening. He is slowly going. Ground ball. All of a sudden, this game decided it wanted to hang. Just checking. Not having, uh, any. There we go. Back to normal. But, <laughs> back to normal that we get three outs. Okay. So. Uh, Jesse Hill is up. No, Buck Jordan. We got Jesse Hill on first. Let's go to double play depth. And I'm going to stay at double play depth. Struck him out. Okay. Benny Moore Jr. Is that it? No, Gene Moore Jr. And again, they score a run. Hmm. Okay. But they score. Three to one. And Picky Whitney is up. And... So we're still behind. We had a real good chance of getting up, but plays off the wall, stands up double. And Flick Castleman. So what huh. And, okay, we got one out, man on second, top of our lineup. Let's see what happens. Two down, Dick Bartel. And we're hitting it, but we're hitting it more often than not, right to the outfielder. Okay. Bob Fenner is the catcher. And one down. Two down. Ray Moore, the pitcher, is up. And that ends the inning. So now we got Mel Ott, Jojo Moore, and Bill Terry coming up. Uh, Mel Ott walks. Jojo Moore gets a single, and Mel Ott goes to take third. So, none out. Um, let's see, Jojo Moore. I'm going to hit and run here. 
depend on Bill Terry to, and that's what we wanted. That's exactly what we wanted. Nice. And we get two runs, we tie the game, and we still got no outs, and Willie Duke is up. That looks going to be the first out. No? What? No. What happened there? Okay, well, that's good. We still got no outs, and Gus Mancuso, the catcher, is up. We get another run. There's some heads up play. And. We get another single. And. We got Joe Martin up. The third baseman, he, he's been hitting pretty well. But that looks like a fly out. Let's go for it. So, we now are leading 5-3. to three. Two out, Burgess Whitehead up. So, can we hold this game? We still got, it's the bottom of the fifth. And one down. Buck Jordan. Right to the first baseman. Two down. And he gets a single with two down. And that ends the inning. So, we are now at the top of the six. So they got only, what, six? Uh, still four more chances. And... Mallott. And that looks like a fly up, pop up. Now we got two outs and Jojo Moore is up. He gets a single with two down and Bill Terry is up. And we're going to hit and run with two out. What the heck? First and third, two out, and Willie Duke is up. But that ends the inning. No, it doesn't. He missed. He dropped, didn't get the ball. That gets us another run. And man on second and third. And two out, Gus Mancuso's up. And that ends the inning. So, okay, let's go to double play depths. I really do not want to have to bring in a reliever. Ah, oh, come on, come on. Oh. Go back to double play depth. I think that's killed me last time. Go back to double play depth. And while I'm at it, I'm going to find someone 
who can who is not tired who could go in What I'm hoping is that we can get through the Okay, two down. That's what we needed. And yes. And that ends the inning. So they got one run. We still have a two run lead. And it may be time to bring in a reliever. because he ran so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring in a pinch hitter I'm gonna bring in jo like Josh Gibson who's on like Josh Gibson pinch hit for Slick Castleman and then we can bring in Henry Gumbart to well There we go. So we got Henry Gumbard in now as our pitcher, and hopefully he'll be able to wrap it up. And that's not looking good. Lead off triple. Come on. We can do better than that. And he gives up another double. How are we going to win this game if we can't get guys out? Okay. Now we need to do that again. Now we just have to get an out. And that looks like it's it. And Dick Bartell flies out. Mellot gets a hit. So we got Mellot on first, and JoJo Moore is up. And Mellot, I'm going to hit and run here. And that keeps prevents the double play. Bill Terry is up. Goodbye, baseball. No. He hits it to the wall. How many times that's happened? A number of times today. One out. Two out. This is what we need. And we're only playing with one run at the, at the bottom of the ninth. So I'm going to put someone in the bullpen. Okay, all pitchers. We brought in Dick Kaufman last time. He's not tired, though. Checking that. So we're going to warm him up again. He may pitch a little in both games. Okay, Willie Duke. And he pops up. Gus Mancuso. 
Nice. Joe Martin. And now let's hope Henry Gumbar can pitch more like he did last inning. And that's one out. Wally Berger. Okay, let's see if we can end this with a double play. Struck him out. Okay, that's what we needed. We got to get him right to the outfielder. And we win 6-5. to five. That was a very close game. Let me show you. Uh, let's see. It should be coming up. And... Yeah, you can see we got up, then, you know, kind of back and forth, and we kind of ended up four, and they, or what was it? It was six to five. So that ends our double player. Got to save first time. So, this is our first regular season win. And so, now let's see if this is going to work. Um, I'd like to bring up, see if this lets me do it. I am going to see if this will let me. And there's some place where you could refresh. It's not coming up. Um, what I'm trying to do is refresh this shot. Rename shot, refresh. Okay, let me see if I can bring this up. Um, let's see. There's some place there's a refresh. Let's try a new one. And we're going to call it window. And see if we can get this to, to come up. Let's see if this is going to work. Yes, it did. All right. So you should be seeing um, be seeing baseball history comes alive. So it's very interesting. Um, we had a couple of things. The polo ground, a color picture from it. And one of the last games there in 1957 uh, we had an article on some perfect games and a first baseman third baseman 
who was actually a good fielder who had a terrible fielding game and committed six errors in one game at third base. Uh, Carl Hubble, who seems to be having some difficulties, uh, relationship difficulties in, in our uh, out-of-the-park baseball game. Article on him. And, of course, John McGraw was one of the great managers of baseball at the beginning of the century. And his Fortunately, he only lived to be. He did, passed away at the age of 60, which is too bad. That was pretty young. But um, I think he would have approved of this No Color Barrier League because um, what I've read, he carried, a, he carried with him, he had a list of Negro League players that he wanted he would, he want to sign if, had he been allowed to. But of course, in those days, he wasn't allowed to. Uh, it didn't mean he didn't want to, because he did. But uh, this is some pictures from <coughs> the 1880s, and I believe. Let's see. I'm not sure. I think this is John McGraw. And that's, in 1957, his widow was honored at the polo grounds. And that's a picture of him when he was managing. A whole bunch of pictures of him. Him and, uh, well, the famous Miller Huggins, who was the Yankees manager. With Christy Matheson. You see how big Christy Matheson was. He was a big guy. I mean, look at his another picture you can see. 1905. Christy Matheson, John McGraw, and Joe McGinty. So he kind of towers over the other two. Um, and there's John McGraw and his wife. And up. And Christy Matheson and his, this is what I think. I think that's John McGraw and his wife standing. And it doesn't say when it was. Um, 19. Anyway, that is a nice article. So, again, this blog is called Baseball Comes Alive. Oh, they changed the name. Baseball Comes Alive. And if you like baseball history, they, they, they these folks do a tremendous job. Anyway, um, we had uh, two pretty good games here. And uh, I think with that, we're going to end the stream and let's do this so i will see you all next time I'll, i'm going to be coming on and i plan to come on a little bit later uh and um show hockey manager uh three uh what no hey no sorry what franchise hockey manager three which is put out by the same people who do out of the park baseball and um looks pretty good but you know um some similarities so we'll talk about that hopefully and hopefully later tonight and i will see you 